Hey everyone, this is Dennis from Botster and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to use two Botster tools or rather bots that make it much easier to work with zip codes and addresses in general. The first tool will find zip codes for a list of addresses that you give to it and the second tool will do the exact opposite, meaning it will provide addresses for a list of zip codes that you have. The addresses won't be exact, of course, but the tool will give you enough information to understand which region the zip code belongs to. As always, links to the original tools are in the video description. And before we start, go ahead and click on that like button to support the channel and do subscribe if you're into data tutorials and, you know, stuff like that. Okay, let's begin. Okay, I'm on Botster's homepage and you can find both tools by using this search bar at the very top of the site by typing zip code. Let's begin with the first tool, which is called address to zip finder by clicking on its link. Each bot has a detailed description that explains how they work and how to use them properly, which you can go through later if you're really bored. But since I'm taking you through the whole process already, let's just click the start button. Let's now give a name to the job that the bot will create for us. I recommend that you always do this to avoid ending up with multiple jobs with identical names. Let's name the job address to zip testing. Next, the bot has a country input field. I recommend always filling it out. Since our tools can work with addresses and zip codes from various countries, providing the country name will greatly assist the bot in avoiding confusion when processing a list of inputs from a single country. However, if your addresses span multiple countries, ensure that each line specifies its respective country. In such cases, leave the country name field empty. Lastly, paste a list of addresses for which you wish to retrieve your zip codes. You can now set up notification and data delivery settings. For example, you can ask the bot to email you the results file, post results to a Slack or Telegram channel, send a webhook, or even create a Zapier integration. I won't be doing any of that, so let's move to the next step by clicking the Start This Bot button. The job is now created and all we have to do is wait for the bot to finish it. By the way, if you haven't clicked on the like button yet, now is a perfect time to do that. Okay, the job is completed and you can already download the results in one of the following formats. But for the sake of the video, let's click on the view data button and have a look at the data together. You can see that the bot returned several columns the first column is the original address that we provided and the second column is the country that we also provided through the additional input field that we had on the launch form. And then we have a bunch of additional data that somebody may find useful. And if you scroll all the way to the right, you will find the column called zip with the zip codes that we're looking for. The bot also attempted to extract the region, which is the state in our case and the city into a separate column. You can now download the data by clicking on one of these buttons or make this page public by clicking on this button right here, copying the link and sending it to whoever you need to. Okay, now let's get on to the next bot, which is zip to address finder. So imagine that you have a list of zip codes and you would like to identify approximate locations which these zip codes may belong to. Well, look no further. Once again, let's use the search bar to locate the tool and click on the link that the search bar gives us. Let's head over to the start page right away and give our job a proper name. Let's call it zip to address testing. As I mentioned previously, always provide the country name when scanning your list. So in this case, I'm going to keep the input as is. And now let's paste our zip codes, skip the notification block and click the start this bot button. The job is created and let's fast forward to its completion. Okay, we're almost done with the video. The job is completed. Let's click the view data button to open the data viewer. You can find the zip codes that you provided in the very first column 
and then we have these addresses for each of the zip codes and on top of that you have the latitude and the longitude of each address this may come in handy if you're trying to pinpoint these addresses on a map or maybe calculate distances in between them like in the previous example you can now download the data by clicking on these buttons or make the whole page publicly available to the web by clicking on this button here and forwarding the link to whoever as I promised you, this was a really short tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you in the next video.